Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of this 2x2 uh, CLL tutorial series. So um, in this video we're going to be looking at three more subsets of the CLL uh, method and um, these are going to be slightly more intermediate subsets in the sense that recognition will be slightly tougher and execution also. So um, yeah, so today's video we'll, we'll be covering pi, u and l which are the three subsets of CLL which are slightly more intermediate and we'll be covering these three subsets in the video. So let's get right into this. So I'll be starting off with the pi subset and the way you recognize this subset is like this. Um, you have no yellows on top basically. Again, I'm using white as my base as I've mentioned in the first video. You have no yellows on top. Instead, you have two headlights here and two headlights facing away from each other. So you can picture this as like a T case. This is what we learned in the last video, except you don't have a yellow bar here, it's here instead. So the way this forms a pi is something like the bar and you know, that's how you draw pi. So yeah, it's some, it's some it takes some imagination, but uh, yeah, that's what you would do. So without any further ado, we'll get into the pi cases. So the first case in the pi subset is this one where um, again to, to recognize we'll mostly be using the patterns on top here like that's mostly what's going to matter to us and here as we see it's a pi case with the headlights here and these two headlights facing outwards like this and we have a bar here and the checkerboard pattern sort of thing here so you have a bar here basically and the way you solve this is actually a 3x3 three three OLL it's this one so it's this OLL because you basically, this is like a pie case with the corners here and this corner here and this corner there. And you can see sort of the bar with the corners and the checkerboard pattern on top. And the, re the way you solve this case on three by three is F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. So on the two by two, we do the exact same thing. Again, you have the pie case with the bar here and checkerboard pattern on the left. You keep it like this and you do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. So uh, yeah, that's the first case. Moving on to the second one. So this is the second case. And as you can see, again, it's a pie case with the headlights here and these two facing out. But in this case, we have the bar on the left. So last case, it was on the right with the checkerboard pattern on the left. Here is the exact opposite. And the way you solve this is by letting this whole bar face U and you do this algorithm. R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime, R, U prime, R prime, U two, R. So again, you have the bar on the left and the checkerboard pattern on the right. You keep it facing you and you do R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime, R, U prime, R prime, U two, R. So that's the second case. Now moving on to the third one. So this is the third case in the pi subset where again, as you can see, we have the pi this thing. And here we have two vertical bars. So for this case, the way you recognize is obviously the two vertical bars, pretty simple to recognize. And the algorithm is also quite nice. So the way you do it is you keep it at this angle itself and you do R U prime R prime F R prime F R U R prime F R. So again, you have the pi case, you keep it at this angle itself, recognized by these vertical bars. R U prime R prime F R prime F R U R prime F R. So yeah, pretty simple. So moving on to the fourth case. So the fourth case is this, where again, we have the pi this thing you have a complete checkerboard pattern. That's the best way to recognize this case. And this is actually sort of a variation of one of the edge cases, which if you remember from the first video, which we learned. And um, the way you solve this one is you put this yellow bar in the back and you do this algorithm. F R2 U prime R2 U R2 U R2 F prime. And if you remember the edge case, which I'm referring to, it's this one where you have these and you have the vertical bar. And we used to, we would put it here and do F R2 U prime R2 U prime R2 U R2 F prime. So this is the exact opposite of that where you have this case with the checkerboard pattern F R2 U prime R2. So instead of doing a U prime here, we would do a U R2 U R2 F prime. So that's the fourth case moving on to the fifth one. So this is the fifth case where you have again, the pie sort of setup. And in this case, you have opposite colors here and solid colors here. So, so by solid colors, I just mean the same color. It's like a solid block and opposite colors here. 
So that's the way you recognize this and the way you execute it is from this angle itself you keep the opposite color or sort of the open sort of thing here and you do this algorithm r u2 r prime u prime r u r prime u2 and then just sledgehammer r prime f r f prime so again you have the pi case with uh, the same color here and opposite color here and you recognize it with that only and you put this in the front and you do r u2 r prime u prime r u r prime u2 sledgehammer so that's the fifth case moving on to the last one so the last case is the exact opposite of the fifth case in that you have the uh, the same color here and the opposite color here so it's basically the same case but lefty so if you already guessed that is a uh, pretty good guessing <laughs> So you basically do it from this angle with left algorithm, left hand and um, the reason I do it with left hand is because the algorithm is just very nice. Of course you may choose to do it with the right hand and you can find multiple algorithms for each case of the CLL which um, we should we will leave a link in the description of each video um, where you can find these resources. So yeah, here you have the pi this thing and again same colors and opposite colors here. So from here it's the lefty version of this, it's the same alg but from the left version. So it would be L prime U2 L U L prime U prime L U2 and then a lefty sledgehammer. So again you recognize with these being opposite and these being the same. L prime U2 L U L prime U prime L U2 L F prime L prime F. So yeah, that's the sixth case and that is the entirety of the pi subset. So now we'll move on to the U subset. So under the U subset, we have six algorithms as usual. So uh, the way you recognize these ones is pretty simple as well. The U subset involves a yellow bar here and a yellow bar here. So it's like, it's sort of like the T subset, except the yellows were facing outward there, but here they are together. So it's like two yellow bars. So yeah, that's how you recognize any U case. So now moving on to into the first case. So this is the first case in the U subset and um, the way we recognize any U cases is by seeing these two stickers and these two stickers. Like that's the main way we're going to recognize them. So in this case we have a solid bar here and an opposite color pair here. And um, the way you execute this is very very simple and it's just this algorithm on 3x3 which I'm sure all of you know from the beginner's method which is and the reason it works is obviously because you have the same yellow yellow here and you have matching colors here and opposite colors here so f r u r prime u prime f prime it's just that it's very simple and you hold it like this with the bar on the left f r u r prime u prime f prime so yeah that's the first case so moving on to the second one so this is the second case and um in this case so as you can see we have the u case here but here the bar is here instead of on top so you have the same colors here and opposite colors here and the way you solve this is by putting this bar at the back and doing this algorithm R2, F2, R, U, R prime, F, U prime, R, U, R2. So it's very simple to execute and um, wait, that didn't set it up. So yeah, you put it at the back and you do R2, F2, R, U, R prime, F, U prime, R, U, R2. So yeah, that's the second case. It's actually it's simple to execute but it's tough to like remember the whole algorithm but yeah that comes with practice moving on to the next case so this is the next case and as you can see it's a u case and here we have both bars so very easy to recognize all of these u cases you have a bar here as well as a bar here and the way you execute this is by holding the, in this in this angle and doing f r u r prime u2 f prime r u prime r prime f very cool algorithm and the finger tricks are sort of fancy, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's a very nice algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U2, F prime, R, U prime, R prime, F. So that's the third case, moving on to the fourth one. So this is the fourth U case. And as you can see, we have opposite colors here as well as here. So it's a checkerboard pattern. And that's how you recognize it. It's just a checkerboard pattern, very simple. And the way you execute it is from this angle, you do the algorithm. F, R prime, F prime, R. So it's a sledgehammer basically. And from there you do U prime R U prime R prime U2 and you just insert this corner here with R U R prime. So 
so again this is the case and you do like you see the checkerboard pattern you do f r prime f prime r u prime r u prime r prime u2 and insert this corner with r u prime r prime so yeah that's the fourth case moving on to the fifth one so now this is the fifth u case and the last two cases of this u subset are sort of tricky to recognize but um yeah you will get them over time and in this case we have the same colors here and opposite colors here so green and blue are opposites and orange is the same so the way you execute this is with this algorithm you move it here and you do this algorithm it's very simple and yeah again recognition is opposite colors here and same colors here you hold it in this angle and you do r u prime r2 f r f prime so that's the first part of the algorithm which is just basically r u prime r prime and a sled hammer and then you do r u r prime u prime r u r prime so again you have the u case with the same color here and the opposite color here you hold it from this angle and you do r u prime r prime r prime f r f prime r u r prime u prime r u r prime so yeah quite a nice algorithm simple to remember but it's tough to recognize this case so moving on to the last one so this is the last case as you can see is a u case and in this case it's the exact uh, opposite of the previous one where you have the opposite colors here and the same colors here and the way you execute this is again from this angle itself but the algorithm is very different for this you do r prime u r prime f r f prime r u2 and then you insert this corner in the back with r prime u r so uh, this is the case and again you put this in this you put it in this angle and you do r prime u r prime f r f prime so it's r prime u sled hammer and then r u2 and then you just insert the corner in the back with r prime u r so that covers all the algorithms in the u subset and now we move on to the final subset of this video which is the l subset l and um, again yeah there's six cases and let's get right into recognizing them so this is how you recognize the l cases the very easy to recognize like the the fact that they are l cases because you have two corners opposing each other here like opposite to each other and you have these two corners like this so this should remind you of this shape on the 3 by 3 basically and um yeah so here that's how you recognize the l cases and we'll get right into the first case so this is the first case where you have these yellows here and these here and the way we're going to recognize all of the l cases is by looking at these three stickers primarily like i think those are the only three stickers you might have to look at except sometimes you might have to look at this one so yeah so this is the first case where these two are opposite colors so whenever these two are opposite colors it's a very simple case that's the way i like to look at it so these two are opposite and this color matches the one straight above it so green matches green and green and blue are opposites which is analogous to this so on the 3 by 3 to solve this you would do f r like the the normal algorithm to solve this is f r u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime but the the technically shorter move algorithm is hedge slammer which is f r prime f prime r and then you insert the pair u r u prime r prime so with the 2 by 2 that's what we do we recognize that these are opposite colors and that this matches with this so you do f r prime f prime r u r u prime r prime so again opposite colors this matches with this l case f r prime f prime r u r u prime r prime so that's the first case now we move on to the second one so this is second l case and again you have opposite colors on top so what you need to look at is this sticker so these are opposite colors and this doesn't match with this or this it doesn't match with any of them but you see that this one matches with this so it's basically the same case but from here it's a lefty version and the way you do it is basically it's a lefty version but since you can use your right hand to solve it's very easy you do f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r so the way it looks on 3 by 3 is like this it's like solving this f2l case if you don't know it you should learn it so it's where this edge has to go here and you don't want to rotate you just do f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r so um again f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r these are opposite this matches this or if you get it from this angle none of them match like these are opposite and doesn't match moving on to the third case we have um this case which is a very nice case i feel and i'll just set it up yeah 
So this is the third case where you have these two yellows here, these two here, so it's an L case and you have these two matching and these two matching. So it's like you have a line here and a line here. And the way you execute this is very simple. You do R U2 R2 F R F prime. So it's R U2 R prime followed by a sledgehammer and then you just do R U2 R prime again. So let me set that up again. You have these, it's an L case with this, these two uh, colors matching and these two colors matching. So this line and this line. You do R U2 R prime sledgehammer R U2 R prime. So yeah, very simple third case. Moving on to the fourth one. So this is the fourth case and again we have the L and here we see these two are opposite colors and these two are opposite colors. So basically nothing matches but you have these two as opposites and these two as opposites. So that's how you recognize this case and the way you execute it is by holding it from this angle and doing this algorithm. R prime U, R prime U2, R U prime R prime U, R U prime R2. So this might remind you of a previous case. And um, I'll just go over this case once before I show you the uh, correlation. This is the L case with these two are these two as opposites and these two as opposites. You hold it from here and do R prime U, R prime U2, R U prime R prime U, R U prime R2. And the, the correlation here is this. So if you people have watched the first video, then this is a T case. And you will remember that when you have both bars here, you can hold it at the back and you do R prime U, R prime U2, R U2. So in this case, you do R U2 and not R U prime R prime. You do R U2 R prime. And yeah, you just solve it. So sorry, I couldn't re reconstruct that properly. But yeah, basically the difference here is that in that case, you do R U2 R prime, but here you stop it halfway. You do R prime U R prime U2. So instead of here, instead of doing R U2 R prime, you do R U prime R prime and then U R to pair them and then U prime R2 to insert them. So yeah, that's the fourth case, moving on to the fifth one. So the fifth case is this, where you have the same colors on top and this sticker is opposite to both of them. That's how you recognize this case. And the way you execute it is by holding it from this angle and doing this algorithm. R U prime R prime U, R U prime R prime F, R prime F prime R2 U R prime. And if you're sharp enough, you would have caught that this is the exact reverse of one of the cases we've done before, which is this U case where you have these two as the same and these two as opposites. It's the exact opposite, like the reverse of this algorithm where you do this. But here, same, and this is opposite to both of them. You hold it here and you do R U prime R prime U, R U prime R prime F, R F prime, sorry, R prime F prime, R to U R prime. So that's the fifth case. Moving on to the last one. So this is the last case where again, you have the same colors on top, but this is not opposite to either of them. And the way that's how you recognize it. And the way you execute it is again, by holding it from this angle, you do R prime F prime R U R prime U prime R prime F R2 U prime R prime U2 R. So as you can see, it's very easy to execute and it's very fast. That's the thing I like. This algorithm might be longer than the most optimal way to do it, but it's very fast. So again, you have the same colors here and this is not opposite to them. Like red is not an opposite color of blue. You hold it from here. R prime F prime R U R prime U prime R prime F R2 U prime R prime U2 R. So that finishes all the cases for this video. We covered the pi, U and L subsets of the CLL method. And um, the last video will be the last two subsets of the CLL method, which are the soon and anti soon subsets. And they are known to be the toughest to recognize and execute. And also like the most annoying because they look so similar. But uh, yeah, we will get into that in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. Bye.